Well, <laughs> it was pretty boring most of the night, but the last 10 minutes were worth it. Worth the price of admission? Probably so. And a nice crowd, too. I'd say about 80,000 people. Maybe more. About 70% full. Charlotte Motor Speedway, Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net. All-Star Night, Kurt Busch, the big winner. Bounced off the wall, bounced off the wall, bounced off the wall. Steve Addington and Scrooge have made some good repairs. Did a good job making a comeback. But the story wasn't him winning as much as it was the guys that lost. Joe Gibbs guys, they've had the world on a string lately. Five of the last seven tour races they've won. Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. Well, they didn't make it to the finish line this time. Crashed each other. They were battling for the lead. A couple of laps to go. Denny squeezes Kyle high. Kyle rubs his fender against the wall. Goes out a right rear tire a few miles further down the road. And that's his day. And he was hot on the radio. He was hot on the radio. Moved his car over to the garage. And Kyle was hot, to say the least. Drove his damaged car back to the garage area. Parked it in front of Denny Hamlin's hauler. Made a few nasty comments about what he was going to do with Denny when Denny got through. Then they had a half hour meeting with team owner Joe Gibbs. Whoa. Kyle storms off into the night. Still hot. Joe Gibbs slinks off into the night trying to figure out how I'm going to keep these guys cool. He had the team that was looking really strong. And now they've got a feud going on. Denny did a good job, though. Denny was cool about it all. Then he stood, then he stood outside his holler, made his peace with the press, said he understands Kyle, Kyle understands him, they're fine on the track. Heck, Denny's won three of the last seven races and Kyle's won two. Kyle was talking about the new Kyle Busch a couple weeks ago at Richmond and Denny sort of laughed about that. Two weeks ago he did. <laughs> they weren't laughing tonight, but Denny was class. Kyle, I don't know, got a little maturing to do if he wants to become a championship driver. They crashed each other, and Joey Logano, Gibbs almost went one, two, three. On a restart, Joey had a car that could win, made a move to the inside of Jimmy Johnson, who had a real strong car. The next thing you know, there's a big crash. Joey said, well, it's my fault, but it's the all-star race. Had a car that could win, there was a hole, and I went for it. Mark Martin ends up crashed out. Casey Kane, a lot of guys. Well, that's just the way it's going to go in the all-star race. Jimmy Johnson, on the other hand, made another mistake. Two laps to go. He was running in the second row behind Kurt Busch. Got on the inside of Denny Hamlin, battling off the corner. And with the new flat blade spoiler, the guy on the outside can dictate what the guy on the inside is going to do. And Jimmy was on the inside, a victim. Spun out through the grass. Another uncharacteristic mistake for Jimmy Johnson. Didn't damage the car that much, but it took him out of contention for the million dollars. Kyle Busch, out. Jimmy Johnson, out. Joey Logano comes in third. Martin Truex Jr., who won the preliminary race to make the finals, came in second. Surprising. Good, strong car. And Kurt Busch, a million dollars richer. Charlotte Motor Speedway, Saturday night. Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net.